Ngurere village situated along Yola Numan Road in Yola South local government area with a projected population of over 30,000 people is among the few places in the state where manual stone crushing exists. These hard business gave the over 400 people to swathe on hammer and stones in order to meet the daily needs of their families within the 13 hours. Among them is a physically challenged blind man of 22 years old, Abba Muhammad Ali Anjimeta, who is married with one wife and two children, is among the self-employed people that engage themselves in the stone crushing business despite his disability. It is an eight years business. Why did he engage in this heart of business despite his disability? Abubakar Buba, who spoke through Mr. Gabriel Suleiman, is the Stone Crusher Association's chairman. Yes, we have it. Okay. We have a yeah, diploma on the secondary level, and we have uh, other people who try to go to a degree. Okay. The men and women of these business who cut across different ages earn 700 to 1,000 naira daily. Really, we have a challenge. Yeah. Here we are working, no any improvement from government and the other people. The chairman and his physically challenged member commended Governor Muhammad Umaru Jibirilla for transforming the state to its present position but urge him to exchange same to them so that they can contribute their quota to the social economic development of the state. Here we need water and we need support from government where we can get the materials like hand gloves and other things to help our youth where we can get managed to go continue our school. Some other people here, they, they just uh, they, they are prepared to go to school, but the condition of lack of money. Huh? One of the major challenges that I face in this business is lack of capital and the equally change of business than these, the hard one that I am passing through. Mm -hmm. These kind of activities will no doubt help in the improvement of the economy of the nation. So the, therefore, this is a, a challenge for a youth who are hiding, going from one place to the other, to find an engagement for their own life and for the nation. Bashiru Malum Dibashi, reporting for 26 Chicken Fire.